Hello, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. Um, I'm Mike Hughes, and uh, today I'm going to talk about, uh, well, crabs. Uh, crabs in general, Dungeness crabs, uh, these uh, techniques for catching crabs, uh, whether you're on the Atlantic, Pacific, or, well, I won't go into Nevada. Um, anyway, what I call this is the three G's of catching crabs. The first one is going to be the grab. Second, we're going to talk about gear. And the third part, we're going to talk about the grace of catching a crab. And in the first part, basically, we're talking about catching the crab. If you see a crab in the water, like this one, um, the way you want to approach it is never from the front because that's where all the, the really pinchy parts are. You want to grab it from behind, so what you want to do is curve your hand behind it, come up underneath it with your thumb on top of the shell, you've got it. Notice that the claws are facing the camera away. It's very difficult for a crab to pinch you when you have it this way. There have been some that have been known to reach, try to reach back, but you can always move your hand and adjust according, accordingly in order to keep it away. Now, once you've caught a crab in this fashion, um, what's really nice about it is that you can take it and you can quickly put it in a bag you can uh, turn it over, and if you look through your fingers, you can see whether it's a male or female uh, before you put it in the bag. Now, a uh, simple part about the male and female, if you look the abdomen, if you see that the, the, the bottom part of the shell is about a finger wide, you're looking at a male. If it's about two to three fingers wide on the abdomen, it's a female. And the reason, uh, easy way to check is if you lift that up a little bit, in the uh, uh, females, you're going to see what look like feather appendages in there where they keep the eggs nice and neat. And where the males, there's uh, only little two tubules uh, underneath there pretty much. So anyway, you've got yourself a, a male and you're ready to uh, put it in the bag. Um, about the gear, what I like to do for gear is uh, one bag does everything with one hand. And what it is is the type of gear I like is a bag with a little mesh up here so the bag, uh, crab can't catch on anything. And then at the bottom is a net, so that way water can come out of it and the crabs can play at the bottom away from you while you're dealing with the new crab in the bag. And they can't reach up to get in at the new crab or your hand while you're putting in another crab. So uh, with that format in mind, I would take the crab like this and straight forward, I could put it in with one hand that um, if you have a, a other bags that require more than one hand just to open the bag, you're really going to be time stressed and if there's a lot of crabs around, you're going to miss some uh, opportunities uh, waiting for you. But if you've got a one-handed operation where you just squeeze the steel trigger and notice it's got the um, little coils on the back end to pull it open, once you've got it open like this, you can be crabbing all day and every time snap shut, get another crab, open it up, put another one in. Oh, oh, so that's what you want to look for and of course uh, on the bag, on the side of the bag and you can see that I always have a crab gauge available so I can quickly check it and that's another reason for doing it with one hand is because you've got it here, you can be checking with the other hand while he's trying to pinch you the whole time and, and he just can't do it. So in addition to that, now when you're looking for crabs, sometimes what you come across is a sandy substrate and all you'll see is a dark circle outline. And if it's a dark circle outline, it's hard to tell which side the mouth and the claws are at and which side the back legs are at. If you can see a telltale sign, like uh, if you're looking in the sand and you see two little antennae sticking up, it's safe to say the claws are over here, which would be the same case as that. The claws are over on the, this side, and so you're gonna swoop down and take it from this side in the back and you've got it with the claws facing away from you. Now, when you look at the circles in the sand, if it's a small circle, it's gonna, going to be a small crab. But if it's a large circle, it's going to be a large um, crab. So it's easier to choose that way. You don't have to waste your time with the small circles. You can go for the larger circles first, check for the antennae. If you don't see the antenna up above, sometimes you can just touch the bottom here and claws will start to come out of the sand. If you see the claws starting to come out of the sand at this end, you can quickly reach behind and grab it from the back before it even makes its way out of the sand 
and you've got it sand to your bag in, in two easy seconds. So now what if they're in the open? Now this is where the grace of um, catching the crab really comes in handy is that if it's in the open and it thinks it's the bad boy on the block, you can just swoop down around it, bring your hand back underneath and catch it as usual. But not all crabs just stand their ground like that. Some, the minute you spooked them from the sand, they're going to start running off. And um, in that case, you have a couple of options. One, you can chase like crazy after them until you're tired, or uh, B, the, we've got a technique where you can come around one side and your bu dive buddy comes to the other side and you can deflect the crab over towards your buddy and your dive buddy can make the final catch. Or there's a, the other um, style where if there's a bunch of pilings and crabs are in the middle and you've got more than one diver, you can have one or two divers go down straight down the center of the pilings where the outer, other divers come th from the outsides of the pilings and whatever crabs come out of those piling areas will go directly to your compadres out there ready to be caught. Um, the other thing you can do, uh, when you are chasing a crab, if it's not moving super fast, what, what I like to call is the praying mantis technique, and that's where you keep your arms next to your body and your nets and everything back behind you. Your head should be the most forward part of your body, and you're coming up on the crab, and the crabs will let you get within shoulder length this way. And if they do, then at the last minute, you can take your arm, free hand, and quickly grab it before it can get away. Uh, they, they're not prepared for this. But if you had your arm extended out and you chased after the crab, you could do this all day and you'll never catch the crab. So get my advice, keep your hands next to your body, get as close as you can to the crab. And when you think you're in within strike distance, Take your hand, reach in, and take him from underneath. And this way they can't get you, and before he, he knows it, he's in the bag. So here, that was a couple of um, techniques. We talked about how to catch the crab, uh, grab the crab with your hands on the bottom, thumb on the top. It's the easiest method, whether you're wearing gloves or not. Uh, a bag, get one where it does all the functions with one hand, so you can keep your other hand busy on the crab. And then the grace of the chase, which is either if it's in the sand, you, how to get it from there, how to use your buddy and use signals with your buddy. You can, you know, devise your own signals if you like to get the, on the same page so that you're the steerer, he's the catcher, or vice versa, and grab your uh, crabs that way. And then a final check, once again, just in case you forgot to check uh, the sex of the um, crabs, Go through your bag one more time before you hit that surface. Make sure you've only got males in and make sure that depending on where you are and what the local uh, regulations are, you have the, the exact limit or less so, um, so you don't have troubles with the authorities. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this.